to Rick and to all of the speakers. Um, I'd like to invite the speakers up here for a moment. Um, we didn't have questions after, so we'll take about 10 minutes now. Um, if anyone has questions for the speakers, and we don't want to go over 10 minutes because I think we're all ready for the bar. <laughs> Are there questions? I have a question for all of the speakers. How did you find it? What was your process like? Would anyone like to share that? Any insights that you had while you were going through this? I distracted a lot of my lab mates. <laughs> yeah. Henry? I used a lot of my lab mates time, personally, um, and was very distracting for about a month. Same, also sassy. <laughs> my foreign language skills are pretty terrible in several languages, so I just pictured myself having to give this in a language that I, I'm terrible at speaking. <laughs> talks about this information and um, so clearly like this was over descriptive I could use a word like chimpanzee or taste or those things the one thing that I that I kind of another challenge of this that I wasn't expecting was because you were videotaping it we signed something saying all the images were going to be the rights of them so I it, it made me better about using images they have rights to use as opposed to just finding anything on Google image um, and so I think that's another important thing about this is like um, when we put things out for the public, put things out that the public can use, um, you know, that they could post on Facebook or whatever it is. So I think that was another thing that I learned from this. It is less about the upgoer language, but another important part about public science. Yeah. Um, for me, the process kind of started, uh, I had some of these slides made up from my first year of graduate school when I went home for Christmas. And my family stared at me and went, what are omomyids? What are tarsiers? What's a lemur? And I realized we had a lot of work to do. And um, I, had, I was kind of surprised how much I had to go back to what I thought was high school biology to get my brilliant family, um, very supportive, loving, very smart family on the same page as me. And I found doing these sorts of exercises has made it a lot easier to facilitate those sorts of conversations. And so now my mom can tell her friends at Pinochle that I study tarsiers, and they are a small primate that lives in Southeast Asia, and she kind of now shares that knowledge too. So I, I was really happy that, to see a formal opportunity for this because I, I do see it in my individual life really helping. I just want to add that um, I very much agree, but I did give this talk to my four-year-old niece, and now she wants to knock rocks together, so I'm just saying that I think it did work, so I think that it, she, and she thought it was a really good idea, and she really liked it, and she understood, so four-year-olds, uh, anyways, understood it, so... <laughs> And stuff. <laughs> 
time for two more questions. Person coming down the aisle. Yes. Yeah. Step up to me. Please go to room over there and hear about weird tiny animals <laughs> and the weird white things, tiny tiny, in their mouths. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, what are some words that you were surprised in or annoyed? That we're not in the 10th yes. yeah. <laughs> The common most thousand words include past tenses and plurals. So you're really talking about 400 words, which is crazy. So whoever designed that algorithm, I want to find. <laughs> I was horrified to see what are the thousand most commonly used words, which include gonna, G-O-N-N-A, uh, and, and damn, as you heard, but not bone. <laughs> yeah, one more question, and then let's head to the bar. Sir. Um, in the big Southland, there are uh, men who believe in green, men making babies, wanting buildings. Uh, anyway, I think that perhaps this approach might be a very good approach to counter um, pseudoscience, which is a very strong discipline in lots of parts of the world, and it actually really points out how stupid it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a very effective tool. Thank you.